Hi everyone, Sam here. Just doing a quick video, as they're always quick. Um, I'm gonna plant myself some runner beans. These ones I've had for a few years, so I'm gonna plant them more thickly than is recommended. Um, Cause I don't expect the germination to be very good. Um, Currently this week, the nighttime temp temperatures are going to be under five degrees Celsius, which is not the best growing conditions, but I've got itchy fingers and I want to give it a go. So I'm just going to plan anyhow. Um, like I said, ideal conditions would be over five degrees, five degrees centigrade at night, Celsius even. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Um, anyhow, this is what our runner bean dried seed looks like, if I can show you. Here we go. And let's get planting. Swivel you around if I can. Here we go. One in. soil's still damp I wouldn't say it was wet but it's definitely damp and like I said I'm planting these far too close together as you can see you wouldn't plant runner beans this close together great if they all come up but like I said I'm not expecting them to Do you like runner beans? I can say they're definitely not my favourite veg. Um, and uh, just plant. You know, when you've got things like this, they just need using up, really, don't they? And it's certainly saved by a new seas. And if they come up, they come up. And if they don't, they don't. So I've moved to this side of the bed now. And the same again. Just plant as many as I can along this trellis. You'll need a trellis or some support canes for runner beans to grow up. They grow up like a vine and they like to cling on to something. And here we go. Just look. That's how much I'm worried about them. I just push them in. Push them in and get it done. Nothing has to be perfect. Like on the days you can be perfect, be perfect. But on the days you can't be perfect, just try anyhow. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Probably driving my dad nuts by not doing this perfectly in like nice neat rows, all lined up with perfect spacing. But for me today is a day we're just going to do what we can. There we go. Oh, one more. Push him in. I think that's good. I'll put the fleece back down over so the cats don't see it as a litter tray. And I'll get on with some potatoes. 
you can see the surface of the soil of this potato plant is a little dry but it's just the surface if you dig down it's still really wet we've had loads of rain so i'd be surprised if it wasn't we got a little shoot here growing and a little wormy friend there poking his head out saying hello hello wormy and um so because the surface is a bit white wet before i top up with some soil just going to give it a bit of a water and look another bit of sprout there coming through should be four plants in in this pot that's all i'm doing bit of a drink and all the dry bits Right, and then I'm just going to top this off with some soil. I'll be back in a minute. So, back to topping up this pot. Then, first job is to put a little bit more plant feed. Try not to get it on any leaves of the shoots because you don't want to burn the leaves. And then time to top up with some soil. Just gently, any shoots that you see, gently put a scoop over the top so not to crush the plant too much. Then when you've got any shoots covered up, where you think a shoot might come from you can go straight in or you could put some more um plant feed sorry you was the plant feed was holding you guys up because it's not trick it's a bit tricky to film and garden at the same time see whether that'll hold you probably not let's try that there we are sorry about that guys my love is for gardening not for filming uh, I'd much rather write something down than I would film anyhow so now those um, shoots are all protected with a scoop of dirt I'm just can go in any big bits, any clumps, take out. It's good to do this at the moment because, like I said, with the uh, temperatures still not above 5 degrees Celsius, it's a bit cold for the plants and you don't want the delicate new shoots to get any frost on them. Anyhow, you can see they're all covered up now. So fingers crossed they'll survive this week's cold temperatures. On to the next one. That's it, you're going to go for a little run again. Hopefully you don't fall over on you again, but bear with me if you do. Um, here's my next pot. Weed, better get rid of that. Um, this pot... It's already half filled with soil. If you see any weeds and I've missed them, I will take them out as I go. Right. Roll my sleeves up. So this, because this has already got half full with soil, I'm just going to make all the soil apart from a few inches at the bottom come up to one side of the pot like this and 
this. So as you can see, I'm pushing all the soil over to one side as much as I can. Still gonna keep a few inches at the bottom. And that's where I'm gonna put my potato seeds. Potato starts, seed potatoes, chitted potatoes. You know, whatever you like to call them. These are my chitted potatoes. This is what they look like. I've heard that you don't need to put them in any particular way. You could put them in upside down. I tend to always put them in with the chips facing upwards because that's where the plant grows, in my opinion. And a plant will want to grow up. So why would you put it in upside down for it to have to work all of its way down and then all the way back up again? So I put them in the right way up in my opinion. So one there, and one there. So this one's got some roots. So if I show you on this one, you can see there's a chip here, a chip there, a chip there, and a chip there. You can cut these potatoes up if you only have one potato. You can cut this wherever there is a chit and plant those separately to get more plants from one potato. But I keep them whole because I think that's less chance of them rotting. And you nearly went for a dance again. Right, pop that in that side. There we go, you can see that one. And then I'm just going to, this saw that I pushed to one side, I'm gonna push it to the other side now, so I can put two more in on this side. Probably should use the trowel, eh? Not get my hands so grubby. And just pushing this soil to this side, pushing it away as much as I can, making as much room as I possibly can. Trying to get to the same level, but if they're at different levels, it's no big deal. Right. Two more. All right, and again, everything that I've just put this side, it's just gonna come down this side. A bit of blood, fish and bone. Nothing fancy. All right. Give it a little bit of a mix. Any weed roots to take out? That's the second pot of potatoes done. So we're just about to have a little sneaky peek. Here we go, flip you around so you can see. Sneaky peek. Look what I spotted. Can you see? We've got some little sugar snap peas growing. I'm gonna just cover them back over because like I said, it's still pretty cold this week. 18th of April and it's still cold. Still lots of jobs to do, mind you. 
all of this I got to sort out because this will be the like the lettuce bed. My raspberries are growing well, the strawberries are going well, and if I take you up, okay, I'm taking you up. Look what I also spotted amongst the chives. See this little black spot down here? That's going to be a little flower bud. So my chives will flower. The parsley seems to have survived the winter. So I should be able to chop this up and dry it soon or dehydrate it soon. Ready to preserve for me cooking. 